What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. If you are new here, today I'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine, which I love talking about my skincare routine. Um, if you haven't watched my first video, I mentioned how my husband said it in his vows that he would forever listen to me talking about my skincare routine. So I won't babble much longer, but let's get right into it. So like I said in the title, I'm going to be sharing the skincare items that I use that are affordable and obviously effective because why would I use if they weren't affected. First and foremost, um, I do have makeup on, just got home from work. And so the first thing that I do is I go in with a cleanser and just wash my face, right? Like I don't personally use any kind of makeup wipes. I don't use anything to like get my makeup off first. I let the cleanser do that and my toner do it. So there is an official cleanser out there that I'm like married to, except for this one that isn't affordable and I used it one time and it was great, but now I can't afford it. So, so two cleansers that I do feel like that it gets the job done. It's nothing miraculous, but it's also, it does the job is this brand called The Ordinary, which I'm sure some of you have heard of. Um, you can get it at Ulta, you can get it at Sephora, you can get it online. And another one is by Coco Kind, which I'll be sharing a lot of Coco Kind products soon. Um, I just ran out of the cleanser. I was using the AHA Jelly Cleanser, I believe it's called. Um, and that one works great. My husband and I were both using it, but we ran out of it. So first things first, we are going to go in with this. I get the water running. I get my hand like a little wet. And then I literally just put like the smallest amount ever, right? I don't know, like a dime. Rub it together on my hands. Most of this is self-explanatory. Um, and then just go in straight with it on my makeup. I try to do it gently because you know, you don't want to be like pulling your skin down or being too rough with it. And honestly, this isn't going to get all my makeup off. Um, but between this and the toner, it will. So I just go like this and I get it on there and then I go get water and I like splash on my face. Then I get a towel and I pat dry. And it's almost certain I'm gonna look like a raccoon because didn't get all my makeup off. But it did start the process. It's very gentle, both this one and the AHA cleanser. So you're not gonna necessarily feel like a super strong, like, oh my gosh, my face is clean. Um, but it definitely does feel cleaner and it gets the job done. So right after I cleanse it, I'm still looking like a raccoon, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna go in with a toner. So I go back and forth in between two. My favorite one is this one, Summer Fridays. I freaking love this brand. Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution. Now you're not gonna want to go in with this one every day um, because it is an AHA exfoliating solution. So if you do it every day, it's gonna be way too much for your skin. So I do this like every few days, maybe like three times a week. And when I'm not using the Summer Fridays, then I go in with some Witch Hazel. So this is just organic Witch Hazel. Depending on which one I'm using, I just get it on this like reusable like cotton round, which I haven't used this one in a few days. So I'm gonna do that and I just, Put a little bit on there and gently rub my face. I go in an upward motion again, very gently. You don't want to be like freaking pulling on your face out here. And then I gently go into my eyes. I don't know if it's necessarily recommended that you do this with your like so close your eye, but I'm just very careful. And as you can see, it's getting off my makeup. Now I'm feeling way cleaner. I just got finished with that. As you can see, all my makeup got off. I no longer look like a raccoon, so that's amazing. I will say though, out of everything, this is probably the most expensive. Um, of course, every everyone has different definitions of what's affordable. If I can afford it, I definitely will get this. I definitely notice a difference when I use this. Kind of gives you that like glass skin look. But yeah, this is like $54, I think. So this definitely is the most expensive out of everything that I'm gonna show you. Um, but because I do use it every I did want to include it. Now next, I'm going to go in with hyaluronic acid. This is again by The Ordinary. This I think is like seven or eight dollars. It's seriously not expensive at all. Um, but the thing with this is that you do want to put it on like damp skin. So right now my face is like dry because of the toner and everything. Um, so I usually just get some water in my hands, pat my face. And then I just get like the tiniest amount. You can see that rub it together, kind of warm it up. And again, same motion. I always try to get everything on my neck because I'm not just a floating head. And I usually with this too, like to pat it in my face. Is it doing anything? I don't know. 
but it feels like it's doing something. So just trust me. Okay, now typically what I do, I do this way that my morning routine too, which is different than this. It has similarities, but, but what I like to do is I like to give everything that I'm putting on my face time for my skin to actually like absorb it and take it in. I tone it and then I'll put the hyaluronic acid on. And because that's like the first thing that I'm actually putting on my face for my skin to take in, I want to give it time to actually do that. But usually I'll like go and do something, take a bath or a shower or whatever. Cause I don't want to just slap a bunch of products on my face all at once. And then it's like an overload. Okay. The next step after that is I'm going to go in with a serum. So I have a few different serums that I am currently using. I do like to alternate. It's not necessary. I just like to experiment with different skincare. It's by Coco Kind, the brand that I had mentioned before. So this is Coco Kind Vitamin C serum with c grape caviar it sounds fancy i love this serum it's great anybody that i've ever recommended this to thanks me later so you're welcome another one by coco kind they have multiple serums honestly all of them are good i've never like had one that i didn't like probiotic acne serum so if you struggle with acne or if you have more acne prone skin this could be a great one they also have like a barrier serum and honestly all of them are great i don't think you can go wrong if you truly just don't know which one to get um i would recommend maybe trying this one first and yeah, Coco Kind is amazing. Tonight, I'm going to go in with this one. I do have like a little something right here, which we love that. Add a couple drops. And apply. Actually, I probably need a little bit more than that. Now, after you put your serum on, the next step is you are going to want to put on a moisturizer. So because I do love skincare so much, I definitely have tried brands that are less affordable. Um, I've like saved up and tried different things that I really wanted to try. And, and even doing that, this is one of my favorite moisturizers by far. It's Coco Kind again. I'm like so close to the camera. Texture smoothing cream. Okay, it's the light green one. Um, they have multiple. This is such a good moisturizer. I swear I do feel a difference in the texture of my skin. And oftentimes, because I'm so innovative, I, I like to add essential oils. I have manuka, which is great for your skin. It's like really antibacterial. Hello, are you gonna focus? This is manuka. Um, I get it from Young Living personally, and then I also have frankincense. Um, I like to switch it up if I'm feeling really crazy. I don't know if this is like good or bad. Um, and if one day I'm going to wake up without like a face or something, sometimes I add both. Um, my husband hates the smell of Manuka, so I don't do this one as much. Both of those are great for your skin. I don't add a lot, but I will add a few drops in my moisturizer just to get some added benefits because why wouldn't you want that? Now you might be wondering, is it necessary to have all of these steps? Technically, no. Um, I personally love having a skincare routine at both night and the morning. Um, it's something that I feel like I'm doing this for myself. So I just love the routine of it. It's really not necessary to have like a 15 step skincare routine, even though this is like not 15 steps. Now, another great affordable and natural moisturizer is tallow um you may be wondering why the frick i have such a huge jar of tallow that's because i own a shop currently and um we sell tallow so i got this from my own shop but if you don't know what tallow is it is derived from an animal it is rendered beef suet so it goes to this really long intense purifying process and basically it is a great lotion alternative or a moisturizer alternative and the reason it's so good is because you get collagen in it you get natural vitamins a k e and d so there's like a wealth of nutrients and also it hydrates at a cellular level you really cannot go wrong with this i will say by itself alone it does smell like an animal because it's from an animal um, but we add essential oils. I'm not gonna put this on my face because I just put moisturizer on, but I do like to switch it up and put this on. If you wanna wake up with some deep hydration and literally feel a difference in your skin the next day, towel is no joke. And I personally like to get the raw and unscented one. And really that is the best time to add a few essential oils. Tallow is like a holy grail. You can put it anywhere. You can put it on your face, on your body, um, and it is so deeply hydrating. And in the words of Hailey Bieber, if you are not going to bed looking like a glazed donut, you are doing it wrong. Now, for under the eyes, I am all about making sure my under eyes are hydrated. I did just run out of what I was using, and that was Coco Kind Under the Eyes. Seriously, it lasted me for like probably 
more than six months it lasts forever a little goes a long way and the other one i think is by the inky list that i was using it was like a caffeine eye cream and they're both amazing unfortunately i just use up all of it i have been using this by the ordinary um it is a caffeine solution five percent plus egcg do i know what that means no but it is supposed to reduce appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and of puffiness. I will say this. I've been using it for about a week, so I don't want to give, like, a full-on, oh, this is great. You should go buy it. Um, It is, like, a straight-up serum, though. Like, it's a liquid, which I'm not used to, and I don't know how exactly I feel about that because I feel like... I like having a cream under there and it feels more effective. I have been using this and technically because this is more of a thin like substance, you want to put this on before your moisturizer, but I forgot because I'm used to it being a cream and the last thing that I put on. If you don't know, if you're confused as to like when what is supposed to go on your face, you want to start out with the thinnest consistency and build up to the thickest. All right, so a few more things. Now I'm going to talk about what I do if I have blemishes. So this is so, so good for scarring, right? It's from a brand named Banish, which is what the B stands for. And I'm sure a lot of people have seen like the little rollers that have like the tiniest little needles they're so tiny i don't think it's gonna focus kind of like those little rollers but this one is more of like a stamp which is better because you're not like rolling and tearing your skin but rather you're just adding like little punctures and it's gonna help produce collagen which is gonna help replace that skin quicker and get rid of scars so you like wash it off make sure it's all clean right here i have like a little scar so i would i'm not going to do it right now because technically if you do this you're not supposed to do put like any skincare on you're supposed to do like super fresh clean skin and then do that and not do anything else on it so you would take it and you would like stamp it and kind of like rotate it like one two three and do it like seven or eight times i think and you would do that on each of your scars and then you take this it comes with it. I don't remember how much this is. I think for the whole kit, it was like, oh, so long ago, maybe $70, which is kind of pricey, but they do like afterpay and I had a ton of scarring. So it was like super worth it for me. But this I got like over a year ago and it's like not even close to being <laughs> empty. I swear I've used like literally a speck of it and I've done it a lot. So then, yeah, you like do that. And then after you do it, it will make your face a little red in that area nothing to be alarmed about then you get a little bit of the oil and you put it on um, and that's it you don't do anything you sleep with it when you wake up the redness will be gone um, but that is so so good for scarring you don't want to do it on anything that's actually like active i guess or like acne um it's just for scarring but it's so good but it still is a process but within like a few months all of that all of the scarring will be gone so yeah last but not least i love going to sleep with this lip mask i'm not even going to attempt to say the name okay well laniage lamiage oh well um but i love going in with this um it is very hydrating i even use it during the day i don't like getting my fingers all the so i take like a little small brush that i wasn't using and Okay, slap it right on you. You're never gonna be mad at yourself for waking up with hydrated lips. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope that this was useful to you, that it gave you some affordable skincare ideas. Comment below if you have any skincare recommendations that are affordable, that you feel like have made a big difference in your skin. Make sure you like and you subscribe and I will see you next time.